Hey guys, Tom at TPC Racing here. This video is for installing our TPC Racing seat angle brackets on a GT3 with factory lightweight bucket seat. The issue for many drivers is with the factory carbon fiber seat. The way that the shell is made, it forces the driver to sit very upright, which is fine without a helmet. So with our TPC Racing brackets, we're gonna solve this problem by raising the front part of the seat here, giving us a three degree uh, increase in the recline angle. First thing we're gonna do is to cover this area with masking tape to protect against any scratches. And then we're gonna raise the seat. And now we're gonna remove this cap here. And this one. Use a 17 millimeter socket to loosen this bolt for the seat belt anchor. Next is to remove the seat rail bolts using a T12 Torx socket. Moving on to the front. With the four bolts removed, we can now lift the seat from the base quite easily and we're gonna undo the yellow connector. We have loosened the rear bolts. The rear bolts don't have to be taken out completely. They just need to be loosened up so that the seat can pivot. So the front bolts, we need to take out completely. And once the front bolts are taken out, then you can pivot the seat up and down. That's how we're gonna install the seat brackets. Now, before we install the seat brackets, you can see here, See the zip tie? This zip tie is a factory zip tie that prevents the seat from moving up and down freely. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna carefully cut this zip tie. And once we do this, and then this one here too. All right, now the second zip tie that needs to be removed is the one by this motor here. So we're gonna carefully snip the zip tie and that's it no damage to the wire now we're gonna push this connector back all we have to do is uh, leverage on this bar and push with the three zip ties we move and the yellow connector uh, unlatch from the base of the seat we can now spread this so you can see here the shell of the seat has a curve to it so this is our bracket for this side which is curved the same direction so now we take the bracket go underneath here it will insert exactly to the boss that comes in on the other side of this bracket and now we just have to rotate it up see how it rotates nicely and we just drop this down and we just, we're going to open this insert this in from here close up yep goes in nicely you heard the pop it just went in it's very precise fit see you can see it doesn't move laterally so we're just going to turn this so it matches, so it lines up with this hole. And again, we're gonna push the seat inward and push the base outward so we don't scratch the seat. Yeah, this is on here. And looks like it's lined up. With both sides lined up, we can start putting the bolts in. We don't wanna tighten up one side. We wanna get it started on one side and then get it started on the other side before we actually tighten it. 
you always want to start these bolts by hand. Don't use your ratchet yet. You want to have at least three or four threads turn in before you tighten it down with a ratchet. Okay, now that the, uh, the two front bolts are tightened, we go back and tighten the back ones on both sides. Now, now that all the bolts are tight, we're now going to flip the seat upside down to put the zip ties back on the wires. As you can see here, the wire looms have plenty of slack, so we had to cut the zip tie not because the loom wasn't long enough, but it was how the zip ties were placed originally. So here you have the holder here, you have a holder here, and then it was actually zip tied to this tube from the factory as well. So we have uh, some fresh zip ties here. We're going to connect this back on. With the bracket installed, I'm in my track driving position. This feels a lot better than before. So you can see there's a nice gap back here. This air gap uh, is going to be filled out by my helmet and my Hans device and my elbows at uh, 90 degree, it's very ideal and uh, you know, with this air gap back here it feels very natural and uh, I can definitely see far and upward without having to try hard doing it. Now let's hear it from the owner of this car who's done more than 50 track days in it. For a couple of positions, it feels more natural, feels better. I can keep my eyes up much better than with the seat straight up and down. 